Hey Leeds, it is Stephen Levesque with EliteFitnessWithSteve.com and today I am bringing you episode 3 of my new series, Killer Combo. The theme of this series is get in, get out and live your life in regards to the gym or even at home. A lot of people don't have tons of time to spend at the gym, so I wanted to create these series when I combine two exercises that are effective and efficient to give you the best bang for your buck. We're going to be using the landmine again, and if you check out last week's video, I have a link to where you can find this landmine. It's already half price. I got it for 50 I think you can pick it up for like 27 now. Um, and, oh, by the way, happy Thanksgiving for those who celebrate Thanksgiving, and even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, the way I live my life, I live a life of gratitude, and I'm very thankful for everything in my life, and I think when you pick up that mentality, you'll never be disappointed, truly. Um, and speaking about being thankful, I remember when I started this YouTube channel, I used to get all excited about hitting maybe 100 or 400 views, it was incredible, in a week. Last week's video hit over 3,000 views, so... Thank you. I want to welcome my new subscribers and say hello to my existing subscribers. We are going to crush this routine. We're doing these two exercises. The first exercise is using the landmine. I'm going to show you how we're going to do. There's actually, um, in this first exercise, there's two exercises within it, uh, two movements within it. And the rep count is going to be eight. If you're going to put a lot of weight on here, you might want to drop the rep count to four in regards to the two different movements. All right, I am going to get set up. And we are going to begin. All right, here we go. I have the Olympic bar I'm, um, perpendicular to the Olympic bar. And the end of the Olympic bar is right in the middle of my quad, furthest away from the landmine. And let me show you what this movement looks like. Because a lot of people uh, just don't get this right the first time. And that's totally uh, okay. But it's, it's the... Um, it's the rhythm of this movement that makes it uh, really effective. So this is what it looks like. You're sitting down on your ankles and you're going to be coming up. The bar is going to be going away from you, palms down, and you're going to row out like this. As you come up, that's the movement that you want to do. Now, if you are someone who is sitting down all day in hip flexion, you truly want to make sure that you are stretched out before you do this and right over here you can check out my video on some SMR rolling that'll that'll help you out so check that one out okay so I'm going to show you this without the weights first so again we're on our ankles as we come up we come away from the body like this come down and that's the first movement if you want to um, just do bar weight it's a 45 pound bar that's completely fine you can do the eight reps of that and then you would go to this next movement which is you were going to be going towards your body but as you come up you're going to make a tight oval and then come hit the stomach with your thumbs and come down so it looks like this come up off the ankles and down and it's that rhythm of that up and down that you'll get um, that you'll eventually get in sync with that is uh, really efficient. So let me see, put some weight on here. I gotta put a 35 pound. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm up, I'm down, and I'm gonna come away. One, two, three, four, push it out. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, now we're tight. Tight circle. One, two. Well, tight oval. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is number one of the killer combo. I'm going to get set up and show you number two. All right, are you ready for exercise number two? I am so excited. I am going to show you three ways of how to do exercise two. I have my body lined up with my bench, and I'm on my um, ankles again. For this movement, you're going to come up, and when you come up, your hips should hit the end of um, the bench. So this is what the first movement looks like. You need a kettlebell for this. So as I come up, you're going to go straight up with the weight just like that. 
and back down. So come up, straight up, and down. That is the basic exercise. Now, watch this. This next version is more like explosive power. So you're going to come up as fast as you can when and have the weight come to the middle. So see that like that? So as fast as you can off those off those ankles. The second half looks like this. So as fast as you can and push up. So let me show you again. As fast as you can and push straight up. One more time. As fast as you can press up. And that's for more like an explosive type exercise. And then the last version of this, going back to how we did the first one, we're gonna come up, come down, but here, when we come down, I mean, it's gonna be slow. And then we descend. So again, as we come up, we hit and coming down on that slow, eccentric. I hope you like this video. Let's go for 30 likes. This is Elite Fitness with Steve. We're at Elite, EliteFitnessWithSteve.com. If you decide to subscribe, thank you so much. I will see you soon. Take care. Peace.